I want you to take a moment and imagine what a great church looks like. I want you to think about a church at its ideal point, maybe the home church that you grew up in, or perhaps the church you hope to plant and then pastor one day in the future. Think about what makes that church a great church. What makes it impactful and life-giving and thriving? And I would assume that what you envision in your mind is a church that's fully mature, a church that's fully formed. But as a church planner, I want you to know you will not plant a fully mature church. But over time, that church can get to that place when it's fully mature. And as you plant a church, I want to suggest four phases across which the vision that God has given you will develop and evolve in time. Now, phase one is what we call preparation. And it's in this early, early phase where you're brainstorming, you're planning, you're putting ideas on paper. And in this first initial phase, the spiritual focus is vision discovery. God will help you to discover a very unique and specific vision for your city and your church that you will plant. And the second phase that I want to suggest is what we call pre-launch. And in the second phase, the spiritual focus is vision clarity. It's when things start to move around your vision and you clarify exactly what kind of church that you will plant in time. And in this phase, you clarify a few things related to your church brand, to your vision, to your finances, to the development of your team. And the third phase that I want to suggest is what we call launch day. And because launch day is a big day, I think you should view it as its own unique phase. And the spiritual focus of launch day is vision realization, where you see your church launch, you realize the vision that God gave you way back when you were just preparing to move on site. And in this fourth phase, what we call post-launch, the spiritual focus is vision sustainment. Where from launch and beyond, your objective as a leader and a church planner is to sustain the vision that God has given you, to sustain the vision that you realized on launch day. And in every phase from preparation to pre-launch to launch day and to post-launch, you'll have very unique benchmarks, meaning goals that when achieved lead you to success in the following phase. For example, each phase you'll have a benchmark related to finances or fundraising that each phase has a, its own unique budget. And throughout each phase, your team will develop and evolve over time. In each phase, there are different things that have to be done, systems that have to be built. And so when you think about the vision for the church that you want to plant, don't think about some big 30,000 foot view vision. Break it up in pieces or in chunks, what we call phases that will lead you all the way from preparation throughout pre-launch to launch day and then into the future life of your church. And I love what, I love this quote that says, being strategic means consistently making those core directional choices that will best move you toward your hope for future. And in every phase, as you write down your vision and you clarify your vision, you discover a vision, you realize your vision, and then you work to sustain that vision, uh, this process of thinking through these things will help you to be strategic and take best advantage of each unique phase. And as an example of this, I want to take you to a moment in the life of uh, myself and my wife when we're back in preparation. I remember the day, we took a photo of it, when we jumped in a U-Haul and we drove those six hours to officially move to our city in April of 2018. And I remember my wife was driving her car, I was in the big U-Haul, and we spent the whole day just shoving all of our stuff into a U-Haul and uh, we're moving, you know, a state away. And I'm driving the U-Haul by myself and I've got a lamp in the passenger seat. I've got a big bag of dog food and just all this stuff that you move and you realize how much junk you have when you kind of, you move a state away. And we've got all our just stuff in the U-Haul and I'm clunking along those six hours and we cross over into the county of our city, Hayes County, and our city was San Marcos. 
And I remember that day when I crossed over into Hayes County, just begin to pray, okay, God, we're doing this. We're here. We're, we're moving on site. We're going to make this work. We're going to do the thing and that we set out to do. And as I prayed in the U-Haul, just had this, call it an impression or a picture in my mind of a spear that was thrown and it pierced this barrier and it landed right in the heart of enemy territory. And I felt like in that moment, that spear that landed right in the heart of enemy territory was God kind of revealing to us the work of the church and the planning of the church, that we're creating a beachhead in enemy territory, and it's going to be right in the heart of the enemy's kingdom. And that's why early on, the day we moved to town, I really felt like the place for our church was at the heart of the city, somewhere close to the city, to the city center. And so early on, uh, we started out in a series of different homes and small groups. And then in time, we found a church to rent. We rented on Sunday evenings, but it was really kind of south of town. It was really the only thing that we could find that was available to us. And it was great for a season and it was great for about a year and a half, but I really felt like at some point God would move us to the city center, right in the heart of enemy territory. That was kind of the vision that God gave us that we discovered early on in preparation. That over time we're getting ready to launch. And so we chose to launch in a downtown city park. And then I remember on launch day, we're there, and I remember after that launch day service was over, our team and my wife and I felt like we'd conquered Mount Everest. We had realized the vision that God had given us way in the beginning. And it was about a year and a half post-launch as we worked to sustain the vision that God gave us in the beginning. I got a call from a realtor. And they said, hey, Paul, I know you're looking for a space. You're looking for a facility. I've got this, this building and uh, a church had it. They remodeled it to fit a building. It used to be a barber shop. It used to be a clothing store. At one point, it was a furniture shop. And uh, they're leaving. They're closing their doors. And they need someone to take over their lease. Do you want to take a look at it? At that point, yeah, sure. Let's go take a look at it. And I brought an outside area pastor with me to put his eyes in the building. And as we're driving close to the address, I'm realizing, man, this is a downtown facility. This is a downtown space. And we walked in and the building was somewhat old. There were like ceiling fans hanging down by wires, nails coming out of sheetrock, all kinds of crazy stuff. There was some kind of playscape in the back of the building that was in a lawsuit waiting to happen. And so all kinds of things we looked at. I asked that pastor, hey, what do you think, man? What do you think of this space? The facility said, well, I've seen worse. But because we got a miracle rate uh, on that facility and on that building, and uh, one miracle led to another. We got a phenomenal lease price. And so we took some funds and that we'd raised and funds that were given to us from outside sources and we remodeled the entire building. And I remember the day we had our grand opening and on that space, about two years after the initial launch of our church, I'm standing in the parking lot. We're putting up the grand opening banner by the front door. And I remember in that moment standing and thinking of that picture or that impression that God gave us when we first moved to town of that spear landing right in the heart of enemy territory. And even though it took a process and a series of all kinds of different phases and, and goals and benchmarks that we met one after the other, I stood there and God had placed us right downtown just off our city square and we had our big grand opening service and it was a moment of victory for us. And so I want to tell you that God will give you those moments like that, like he gave us. That even though in the beginning it, it's very raw and you're just trying to put things together and you're preparing and you're in pre-launch, then that leads you to launch day. That the vision of the great church that God has put in your heart that it's not going to get there right away. But over time, if you stick with it, you stay faithful to the task, the vision that God gave you will be realized. And you will plant and you will pastor a great church.